guys, so I thought I'd do a quick harmonic analysis on the jazz standard, All of Me. So this is a standard 32 bar song with an ABAC form with standard 8 bar sections, all in the key of C. So looking at section A, we have C going to E7, going to A7, going to D minor 7, with two bars for each chord. So we start on the C, or the C major 7, which is our tonic chord. And we finish at the end of this section on the D minor 7, which is our 2 chord. The 2 chord is preceded by a secondary dominant, so a 5 of 2. And that is preceded by another secondary dominant, so a 5 of 5 of 2, which is our E7. So I would analyze this first section as a 1, going to a secondary or a tertiary 5 of 5 of 2, going to a secondary 5 of 2, going to the 2. And so we have a very small fragment of the back cycling dominance progression with that E7 going to the A7. And so that's all in the key of C. Then with section B, we have an E7 going to an A minor 7. Now, if you like, you could analyze this as a 5-1 cadence, perfect cadence, in the key of A minor, which is the relative key. But I'm going to analyze this as still in the key of C major. And so the E7 is a 5 of 6, secondary dominant, going to the 6. Then we have a D7 for two bars. And you can analyze this as either a borrowed two dominant chord from the Lydian mode, so a bit of modal interchange, or a five of five secondary dominant, with the D7 going to a G7. But before we get to the G7, we do a quick little two five. So we insert the 2 as a kind of passing note before we get to the 7. But personally, I would analyze this as modal interchange with the 2 dominant chord being borrowed from the parallel Lydian mode, so C Lydian. Then we've got a standard 2-5 in C. Then we go back to the A section, so we'd analyze it the exact same way with the C going to the E7, A7 to D minor 7. Then we move to section C, and it begins with an F major 7 chord, which is the 4 chord in the key of C. Moving to the F minor 7, which is a minor 4 chord borrowed from the Aeolian mode. And then we have a 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. So the 3 is the E minor 7. Then instead of playing a 6 minor, we play a 6 dominant, which acts as a secondary dominant tonicizing the 2 chord. And then we go to the regular 5, and back to the 1. And then we play a little turnaround with just a 2-5, the D minor 7 to the G7, um, to get us back into the first A section on our next go round. So that's an interesting little chord progression. So using my analysis, that entire chord progression is in the key of C. We don't modulate to any other keys, but we do use borrowed chords and secondary dominants. Cool, so I hope that made sense. If it didn't, I do have separate videos explaining secondary dominants and borrowed chords if you wanna learn about those. But otherwise, thanks for watching. See ya.